Skadesh, walk one. Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics, Vibes Cartel Prison Photo have some fans worried. Skeng arrested at the Norman Manley Airport after altercation with security. Shop dance, corruption hearing extended. Futa hype react to Beanie Man and Sizzler. Stay tuned. Yo! Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad, and we mad at Dan, everything we mad. So, producer Shabdan appeared in court yesterday, and based on the matter, in the come investigating a shooting incident as he allegedly fired a shot over his head and damaged his vehicle. Yes, people, we're getting more information about this case. Shabdan corruption hearing extended. You know, the producer Linval Thompson Jr., also known as Shabdan, who was freed of gun-related charges on April 7, once again faced the law in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Criminal Court for a separate case of bribery. So, these are the exact words right here from him saying, according to Dan Salmag, Yes, I went to court today, but the case was put off until the 9th of June, as the judge stated that additional information was needed from Indicom over the processing of my car as police fired a shot over my head and it damaged my vehicle. Yes, people reading along right here in the article, the popular producer is accused of offering a police officer 2 million to get rid of an illegal gun in a case he had been previously charged with. In an next part of the article right here it states, though the producer is in good spirits, he fears for his life and contends his innocence in all cases. His exact words right here saying, when the police stopped me, they told me to turn on the roof light and I did it. They said to hold out my hands and I did it. That was when I heard a shot so I went down on the ground and told them don't shoot. So that is what my attorney Donald U. Martin is asking about in regards for a report being made. Yes people so Shabdan right here you know his case is still ongoing as the bribery charge you know extended. So yesterday afternoon, Dan Salati Skeng arrested at the Norman Manley Airport after altercation with security. The police have confirmed that the Dan Salati Skeng was removed from a flight at the Norman Manley International Airport about 1.50 p.m. when the incident took place. The 21-year-old artist, whose real name is Kevin Douglas, was charged for disorderly behavior and resisting arrest. He was offered bail and is to appear before the Kingston and St. Andrew Court on June 21. And so far, Skeng lawyer Christopher Townsend said this about the incident. It was a simple thing that got out of hand. What happened from the information that he received, the artist had checked all the way to the gate. There was an item that could not go in the luggage on the plane, his hand luggage. He was asked to remove it in compliance with the rules and the regulation that govern international flights. He said that after there was a rude comment from the security officer, not the police, Sken responded to say that was rude, he never needed to do that. Sken lawyer also make it clear that there was an abuse of power by the airport security and his client felt threatened. Yes, people, because, you know, the security officer, based on what the lawyer also saying, the security officer, in an attempt to subdue him, sprayed him with pepper spray. So, people, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section right here. Okay, so moving along, the next topic, Beanie Man recently put out something about the promoter at Pepper Seed. You know, it's like Beanie Man. We see a video circulating with him on stage and the officer, the mafia, come up, you know, and stop him performance. The mafia cut him performance. Me no know, but Beanie Man explained something right here. And I make the people them know say him and Sizzler good because Sizzler 
set to perform after Beanie Man but Beanie Man is like you know him love perform already you know for please him fans and him never too too uh, come off of the stage so it's like in some form of way when people see the video it won't look like Beanie Man a disrespect Sizzler you know even when the officer them walk up on the stage and cut him performance so right here is like Beanie Man has said in a press release professionalism should be the pinnacle of all business transaction on saturday may 21st i was booked to perform at the pepper seed live event i had a contract with the promoter for a band performance for 30 minutes and i was the only artist booked at the time to perform on the bands i had a contract with the band and i paid the band for my set the promoter contacted my manager requesting that the band also cover Sizzler performance. The band requested that the promoter or Sizzler pay a reduced fee from their usual price. Considering they would be covering my set based on my understanding and what was disclosed by the band leader, there was no payment made for them to back any other artists. Before my performance, the promoter's project manager sent over a time slot that covered 45 minutes initially. I had rehearsed for 30 minutes. Due to this request, we then changed our set list just a few hours before performance to ensure we covered the 45 minutes as this was no problem on my part. I arrived at the event 1 hour and 40 minutes before my performance as I was excited to see both Frisco and Sizzler's performances. We waited and inquired about stage management as we realized the slated time had passed and the first act did not do his set yet. Once I started performing 15 to 20 minutes into my set. I was told the promoter said 5 minutes with no explanation, no disclosure of time constraint, no explanation of permit problems or prior request to cut the set short. The promoter had ample time to discuss with my management and the band members but he waited until we were in the middle of the set to send the police on the stage to cut the show short. I have been doing this for many years. I've worked with many promoters who were short on time due to permits and I have often cut my shows to accommodate other performers. Promoters all over the world can tell you that Beanie Man is one of the easiest artists to do business with. With this explanation, I hope the narrative that is being circulated is cleared as Sizzler and I have no dispute. Going forward, local promoters need to start treating show business with respect and professionalism as other business. Yes, people, and right here we see Futa Hype react to this. You know, Futa Hype agree with what Beanie Man saying. Right here, you know, as Beanie Man a big up Sizzler, him and Sizzler don't have any problem. Yeah, and the promoters, them need to stop all up the time when the artist them for perform. I see him the other day, just over the weekend. Munga and Idonia set to perform in Portmore and the promoter me no know if them want to draw the show or what. They make DJ play so till it just kill the vibes until police come lock off the show. Idonia no get free perform. Munga not even Munga perform. You see me? And you know it just turn off the crowd. You could see that everybody will come out and pay them money disappointed. You see it? So it's like the promoter them need to get that timing act there together. You see it? Because them have to know when them have to know when the artist them for perform on time. You can't just draw the show. You know, people come out support your bar and at the end of the day, them not enjoy the full show. Them come out for see the performance too. So you no need to act more professional and get that timing thing there together and know when the vibes build up and know when the performance for start at the right time you know you can't make the artist them come and uh, wait how long and them still not get free perform joke thing that you know although them get them pay still but remember the patrons them come out for something too okay so after seeing this photo right here is like 
Some fans, you know, them concern the way O5 Scott look them a one day for recent picture or what. As you can see right here, this person comment saying, John, my boss, you lose weight star. Jaja, go and big up yourself still. My DJ guidance every time. A photo with Vibes Cartel and Black Hassan. You know, it's like Vibes Cartel. We see this photo with him a circulate on various platforms recently, especially on the Gaza page. Them. You see me? But this photo right here, it take a good while now. I don't want a recent photo of Vibes Cartel, but because enough people never see the photo yet, you know, they might go astonish and comment a lot of things. Yeah, people, remember the last time during that Fox 5 interview we see Vibes Cartel? For all who are wondering, I consider this photo was before when Vibes Cartel did lose some weight. 